Today we're out here at uh, Summers Young Park with the Community Build Playground. The Community Build Playground uh, consists of getting a lot of volunteers together coming out and building a playground and installing that playground uh, which cuts down the cost and gives you more playground equipment. Pete Trakis is a college friend of mine. He's actually my fraternity little brother, yet he's older than me and a little bigger than me. But uh, his daughter passed away from spinal muscular atrophy when she was 10 months old last a year ago, February. So I kind of felt compelled that I wanted to do something. I wanted to do something special. And I'm in playgrounds, and we can do something special. So I called up Polk County, uh, good friends, good customers, and said, uh, hey, I've got a playground I want to give to you. You guys tell me how much you're going to spend, and I'll make it double, triple, and quadruple the size, and I'll get the community to come, and everyone come install it. So you're going to be able to get a lot more equipment for your for your same dollars. The spirit of volunteerism is is just unbelievable to me. At when when Rob suggested that that he, we do this together, and, and he wanted to invite as many people as we could, and, and we did. And to have the the, the response to this is just is unbelievably touching. To to our family and and the fact that we're giving back to Polk County too in Andrea's memory is, is just it's is really beyond words to, to tell you the truth. For the last year I was working with design with John McKee with Don Wilson um, I worked with uh, professionals on ADA design and everything like that to come up with this particular layout and design that we have here and then I um, put together the mate wanted to bring in shade, so I found some additional ways to make money there. Then I went to game time on top of all of that and got special pricing. Um, we gave up all of our commission on this entire job to make it more bang for the buck to make this a bigger play area. Spinal muscular atrophy is a, is a degenerative um, muscular condition that basically uh, robs, a protein, robs the body of a protein that makes the muscles work. So if Andrea had lived, um, she would have been in a wheelchair. Uh, she, would have, she would have not been able to, to move. Um, so having a park like this is, is great for the kids that are still able to be here, not necessarily just with spinal muscular atrophy, but kids with all... all um, uh, problems with their, where they are wheelchair bound to be able to come and play because we uh, when we were beginning to face this this thing we, we were like we want to have our we want our child to have as normal childhood as, as, as she could and and part of that is playing and, and being a kid um, and and to have a, a facility like this uh, will will allow all children to come out to come out and, and play and, and and really enjoy enjoy being a kid to the best of their ability. We have all come together to build this playground uh, in memory of her, uh, and it will serve the citizens of Polk County and all visitors to this magnificent park when it's finished. And uh, it's just a great community program. It's going to be a great tri tribute to a young lady. The most important thing that happens when you have a community build it is everyone takes ownership in this playground. Every single person here will remember that they helped build this playground, that they put that bolt in, that they tightened that, that they were there that day it started. Um, which can give them a sense of pride, and it's going to be something they always know they did. Um, anytime you do something uh, social or something for the community, you always feel better. And then on top of that, when it's in, in a memorial playground for someone we all know and care about greatly, it's really become special for all of us.